Hi ladies, right, this is take two. Um it's a uh, previous video kept so I'm just freezing. Um this is a swap up that I did with um lovely Kim Fuller, who is Angel Dream Crafts here on YouTube. Um and I've emptied everything out. She has to, it took me so long to do it because I wanted to wait until Kim had received all of her parcels. But this is the card she'd put in. And it's gorgeous. It's a paper doll card. I've never, I've never seen these before. And obviously on the reverse. So I've got an idea for that. And she's put, Dear Julie, thank you so much for doing this swap with me. I hope you have fun with all the goodies. Sending lots of hugs from Canada, Kim Fuller, who is Angel Dream Crafts on YouTube. So thank you so much for that, Kim. And the banner came wrapped in um this gorgeous fabric. And you see how it changes colour there, look. But it looks pink on screen, but it's actually it's actually red, and like a mossy a mossy green. That's a lovely big piece. So thank you so much for that. And it was tied up with this uh, beige sari silk, which will come in very useful as well. So I'd probably dye that. And this piece of uh, sari fabric. Which is gorgeous, it's gold and it's got um little half pearls on it. Now I I did um separate pieces for my um banner, but Kim's joined ours together and I was doing the previous video I got so far. Um and it, it's pretty it, it's a little awkward to show it all. So I'm hoping I could, this would be better doing without this. But let me just show you the back of it. It's a really pretty flag of that canvas that does. And you can see this gorgeous blue lace. And the image on it is stunning. Oh, talk about mysterious. I've got the evil eye. That's got eyelashes. Right, let me just see if I can see if that makes a difference under there. Right, look that way. I do apologise, ladies. Well, you can see along the top, it's got this beautiful sorry sorry um flat the edging of the sorrow. It's like a long trim. It's gorgeous that is, my teal colour, beautiful green tassel trim, and this beautiful blue lace which you've already seen, gorgeous bead trim, they have got bling, she looks, she is absolutely stunning, I, I just imagine this big one on a canvas, and it's just stickled, Little bits on her. And what beautiful wear. Uh, aqua coloured flowers. How gorgeous they are. Now if I can just uh, put, try and pull this towards me. Here we've got a handmade rose. Some beautiful pieces she's used that. Yeah, the sequins on them, the sparkle. I can understand how she felt now trying to film the ones that I've made. <laughs> and there's all the tassel bits, which is seam binding. I think Kim's probably made this herself, it's all plaited. Plaited pieces of Sara, the fibres. And this pretty colour as well, look at that. If I 
have chiffon. We've got ribbons. Right, that's number one. Right, here we go. It's where it gets yeah, the fun part. Number two. There we go, there she is. The beautiful image. I don't know if there's something on that or not, I don't know. We've got a beautiful butterfly. The gorgeous the colour of that one. That's a deep green. Is it green or would you call it a teal green? Beautiful. Gorgeous flower. This top piece here as well, look. Another sari trim. Beautiful that is. And then the bee trim on this one is burgundy. Very, very pretty. Number three. It's got gold um, dangle trim beneath that. Got some beautiful pieces, Kim. So obviously, I can, you know, I can look properly at it. But what I've got to do because I've, now that's what's come off that. That was that's on there. That belongs on that. And it's, it's quite heavy as well. And it's a beautiful pendant in a teal colour again. So I'll put that back on. Later, and we've got a gold, a light gold coloured handmade um, rose again. And I love this colour, beautiful teal seam binding. And then again, we've got the, the plaited trim, more fibres, lace, and more pieces of. Um, the ribbon that goes around the bottom of Sara's oh, that's number two right, here's number Down a bit, down a bit, there we go. And she's beautiful as well. And we've got stickles on the picture again, on the image. More of Kim's flowers that she's made. Beautiful coloured lace here as well, look. I always get drawn towards me out of teal as well. <laughs> got a peacock. These loopy flowers. That's a pretty button as well. Lots of little bits of applique and a gorgeous um, pale blue earring. I'll move it up a little bit. And we've got the bee trim, that's a, like a pale blue. Little tiny bee trim that is. Another pretty applique. Another one of Kim's flowers, and then this one we've got all the fibres, eyelash trim, this plaited fabric again. And we've got this is gorgeous. This is. I think I've got some of this in beige. Lovely long dangles. I'm pretty sorry. Like the chiffon that's used. Really, really pretty. I might put this on my um my dresser top, I think. Do you know I'm not even showing you the backs, am I? That's the same she's used the same fabric as on the first one that I showed you. Beautifully finished. 
yeah, they're all the same fabric on the back. And then finally we've got I've used this image myself. More of the beautiful sari pieces. And I think have you made this yourself as well, Kim? This little um this green embellishment and bullion trim and got the green tassel trim again. She uses these little um shisha mirrors, I think they're called. We call them crochet mirror pieces. Beautiful heart. Buttons. Nice piece of bling there. And this pretty flower as well. And then the gorgeous well it's well it's gorgeous another one of uh Kim's handmade roses. The beautiful fabric which is used for the flower. And then again we've got sari ribbon more of this one in here a lighter colour oh that's wider as well gorgeous and fibres for the dangle well Kim you were saying that I hope you know that I like what you made me well you know I don't like it I love it this is absolutely stunning a bit awkward to show but But that is beautiful. And I'm going to hang that, like I say, on me. I've got a dresser top on my desk. Um, so that's going to be hung up there. Now I can see it. For inspiration as well. Oh, I've got... oh she's made a bag. Beautiful bag clutch so I know you in America and Canada that you call them purses but we call them bags handbags but we call the uh, these clutch a clutch bag this is beautiful and there's on that I think that might be a mother and a daughter on that image Beautiful pieces of lace and little blessed what she's used. We've got bits of um, doilies. Beautiful lace what she's dyed. I've got some of this as well. I, can't, I keep forgetting what to call it. This sort of... Uh, oh, is it knotted something? got a huge tablecloth that I've got to send out to a special lady. It's got a ponch on she really, she really likes that sort this sort that sort of stuff. But anyway back to the this is a well I'm gonna call it Battenberg because of the pattern on it, this doila. But it's a very it's very very fine. Not like the normal, the thicker cotton ones. This is gorgeous. So fine. And then underneath, she uses beautiful fabric. I'm going to keep one out of camera shot. I'm do. I do apologise. I'm trying to look. I've seen it. Looking at it for the first time myself as well. That's beautiful fabric that is. And they've got this. Uh, it's trim along the bottom, but I'm not sure what it's called. I just call it a loopy trim. And we've got the uh, eyelet trim, or brody run on glazes, I call it. That's beautiful. That's the inside. Got some cotton trim, crochet cotton, 
useful like brown beige fabric so she's machined everything Gorgeous. And inside, oh wow. Oh, okay. Now I'm running short on this. I love this beautiful tool gathered trim. It's in the baby pink. And she sent me some in there in the beige as well. Gorgeous. Okay, thank you so much for that. Oh, the copper doilies. Oh, that's nice. It's a really, really heavy one as well. Beautiful. Angle trim. It's like it's beige. I've got a lot dangle trim, but it, it's all mainly white. I've got the odd couple of bits that have been um, gifted to me, you know, in the beige colour. That's gorgeous. I love the weight of it as well. Oh gosh, I need to come on. 16. The beautiful flowers that she's made for me as well. See, I can look at them, you know, probably ap properly after. Oh, Kim, these are gorgeous. I like the idea of these as well because they're not um, not bulky. Pretty flowers. There we go. Let's put them over there before we have a look. And then these are the uh, are they yo-yo flowers? Oh, these are the puffy ones. I think they might be yo-yo flowers. Beautiful pink. Gold. This is what I call the old traditional. You know, the gathered lace. Another pretty one there. Okay, thank you so much for these. These are gorgeous. The thing is, though, when I get things like this, I tend to hoard. Um, but I've gradually started using bits and pieces, sparingly, as I say. <laughs> oh, that's a bag empty. That's lovely, that is. I'm going to have to get another cabinet to put them all in. Now, the This is a handmade bag, this is. It's pretty, pretty um, fabric that's been used. That's lovely, that is. It's probably getting reused. I'll probably put a little few things on it. So thank you for that. She sent me some uh, embroidery ribbons, uh, thread. So I've got like a red colour, the green. I keep going out of shot. I do apologise, ladies, because like I say, I'm looking at it for the first time myself. And I've got the lilac, purple, and white. So thank you for these. I want to try the bobbing method, so. Pretty. It looks grey on screen. 
but this is a type of colour. I've dyed some laces that are um what you call pearl grey and you look at it in one put it against lilac and it looks lilac put it against grey and it looks grey so this will go with either and I've got a feeling that this is going to be used on my um, my latest project that I'm doing using some stamperia paper I'm going to leave that out and put that there so thank you very much for that <laughs> Now these cherries, I don't, the brooch, and I'm assuming it's cherry is a cherry. So thank you for that. So what I do, I always stick them on my um. I'm just going to put it in the box for now, and then I know I've got to put it all away. The brooches I normally hang them up. Pretty, pretty bling. Got a little ballerina. You can't really see it, can you? Ballerina. Oh, that's gorgeous. Little tiny cameos. Perfect for miniatures. Another ballerina. Oh, she's pretty as well. We've got another ballerina. Another charm there, that's a ballerina. Gorgeous bling brooch. Now this, that'll make a nice frame, that will. And then two. Ooh. Gorgeous. Oh, look at that. The pearl drops. They're beautiful, Kim. So thank you for those. Put that with a bag. Oh, I've got a loose flower there. One's escaped from somewhere. Oh, what's this one? Is it? Oh, this might be the surprise. Tied up in this um, sorry ribbon again. I dyed some bits blue and I haven't got no blue, um, the blue that I wanted, so I ended up using a bit of ink. <laughs> Turned out okay, actually. <laughs> this can stay out as well because I'll be using this as well on a project. <laughs> Beautiful piece of wood. Now, muddy nappy clay, look at that. That is so pretty and it's a palest blue. Oh, love it. Gosh, this fabric as well. This will be going in my um, oh, because it's a huge piece. Oh, oh, wow. I can't, wow. Concentrate on the fabric, jeweler. It's a huge piece. Gorgeous fabric. So these look quite the way this the spray out. It's quite like a peacock. So thank you. It's massive, massive piece. Oh, thank you so much for that. Love the colour. And this, wow. I 
on to my own now. Do you know what I'm going to do, ladies? I'm going to finish this off for now. And I think I'm going to do a part two. Because the other bits that I've got. So I'll say bye for now. And Kim, oh, love it. <laughs> I don't know what he was worried about. So I'll see you all in part two. Say bye.